What's up, athletes? Welcome back. Today, we're doing eight minutes of intense leg in a double Tabata. Now, Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest for a total of four minutes. But today, we're going to do a double Tabata, so that's gonna be a total of eight minutes. Now, here's how it's gonna go down. We have eight different exercises. We're gonna work for 20 seconds. We're gonna rest for 10 seconds, go through all eight, and then repeat one more time. Now, this is a wild card workout today, so as always, I'll show you your first movement, then going forward, let you know what's coming up in that 10 second rest. All you need to follow along today is just your mat and then a medium weight pair of dumbbells. All right, athletes, now let's begin. Here is your first movement. First movement today is a sumo deadlift. Now, really important that we differentiate between a squat and a deadlift. At deadlift, we wanna hinge at the hips, really working the glutes and the hamstrings. So go ahead and grab your weights, make sure you keep your back flat at all times. Because it's a sumo position, we're gonna go nice and wide. So think of those sumo wrestlers. But as we get wide, we're gonna push our knees out to activate the glutes and then protect the low back. Keep that chest up, keep that back nice and elongated, hinge at the hips, touch the floor, and then stand all the way up, squeezing the glutes in the top position. Again, leaning forward. If you look straight, your back will automatically stay straight. Art athletes, remember, working for 20 seconds, resting for 10 seconds in three, two, one, and go. Push the knees out. Keep the shoulder blades back and down. Look forward, and now really press through your heels to stand. So I lift up my toes, really reinforcing that posterior chain, coming all the way down and then up. All right, a few more seconds here and break. That goes by pretty fast. Now, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift with a high pull. So go ahead and bend down, same position, but this time bring the elbows up. Now notice that I start to pull as soon as my hips are straight. A common fault is to do this at the same time. So instead, push through the heels, stand, and then drive the weights up. I'm leading up with my elbows. So again, weights start to come up as soon as my hips are straight. Amazing, one more maybe, and break. All right, now drop one weight, keep the other one. You're gonna put it on the right shoulder. We're gonna do a single arm thruster on the right side. Push your hips back, knees out in that squat position, and then drive the weights up overhead. So same idea here, I use my hips to drive the weight up overhead. Inhale and then exhale up. So really important that I don't wanna push the weight at the same time as I am squatting in that top position. And break. All right, we're gonna switch it now to the other side. Three, two, one, and go. Push the knees out, creating space for the hips. Remember that we're waiting for the hips to drive that weight overhead explode through the hips continue to drive those knees out inhale and then exhale up good work athletes we're getting there and last one all right good job now place the weight on the right side we're gonna do a skater squat on the right side so get really nice and wide I'm just gonna go down on the right and then stand really focusing on this right side here inhale and then exhale up, driving through the heels. Good work, athletes. We got this. Three, two, one, and break. All right, switch it to the left side. That's what I love about Tabata, the 20 seconds feel like forever, and the 10 seconds go by like this. Three, two, one, here it is, same thing. On the other side, really important that you drive your hips back, so we're always thinking about protecting the knees, but also thinking about where we are wanting to work the body. So right now, wanting to work the glutes, so we really need to drive those heels back and the hips back. All right, break. Now we're gonna go in for a goblet squat with a heel lift. So I like to put the heels on my hands under the weights like this. Come up in my squat position, heels are up. Then I'm gonna go down in my squat. So inhale and then exhale up. Keep the heels up. Notice the thing that your ankles might be a bit wobbly here, and if you have any vulnerability around the ankles, go ahead and just drop that weight, and then follow me without the weight, or just do a regular squat and break. All right, now we're gonna drop the weights here, and we're gonna go in for a jump lunge. So 
wanting to make sure we've got a 90 degree angle in the forward and back leg. And as much as possible, we want to touch the knees at the same time. But look, we can also modify like this. So be gentle coming down onto the knees. Continue to breathe here. A few more, three, two, one, and break. All right, shake it off. Whew, grab those weights. Round two, sumo deadlift. Keep the back straight, legs are wide, knees out, shoulder blades back and down, looking straight to keep that back straight. And then pushing the floor away from you as you stand. Maybe lifting up the toes to reinforce that drive through the heels just a little bit more. Three, two, one. All right, prepare now for the high pull. In three, two, one, and let's go. And all the way up. So remember again, we're waiting for the hip extension here to drive the weights up. And if you notice, if you explode a bit more with the hips, it's so much easier to bring those weights up. And you don't have to come up so high, just below the clavicle and break. All right, now let's drop one. Placing the other one here on the right shoulder. Let's go for our thrusters. Three, two, one, and here it is. Knees out, explode through the top. Keep breathing here. That's it, athletes, good work. Stay nice and straight again. Thinking about creating space for the hips by pushing the knees out. All right, let's switch to the other side. Ooh, five seconds. Catch the breath, breathe through the diaphragm. Three, two, one, and go. So really think about how that recovery of breath drives the oxygen to the muscle and really helps us refuel and keep that endurance going. So just don't hold your breath. Get nice and wide now. Skater on the right side. In three, two, one, and go. Hips come back. And again, pressing the floor away from you as you stand. Good job. Three, two, one, and switch to the other side. Again, driving the heels back here and the, and the hips back. Three, two, one. As we do these unilateral movements, we start to notice that there's one side of the body that's stronger than the other and it's completely normal. And doing these types of exercises is how we balance out our strength and break. All right, now, goblet squat. Heels of the hand under the weights, heels up. Push the knees out, stay on the toes, and really feeling the inner thighs firing as we work those vastus medialis oblique muscles, part of the quad muscles that are responsible for stabilization of the knee and break. All right, drop it now. Let's go for the final movement, jump lunge. Remember, you could also step back your lunge if you need to at this point and come down gently on the knees, switching feet at the same time if possible and having the knees come down very gently. Five seconds, three, two, one, oh, and shake it off. Good work, athletes. Now, if you have it in you, repeat one more time or check out the link that I have for you at the end of this workout to complete today's training. Remember that I love to hear from you, so let me know below how did it go? How did you like this? What else would you like to see? Remember also to like this video. And if you're new here, subscribe so we keep training together. All right, athletes, go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.